In this video, I'm going to show you why it's so important to have LinkedIn today for IT support positions. On your resume, you should have a LinkedIn link. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a LinkedIn profile and you as a member of JSS can utilize our pages, our company and our Discord. To do that, first go to Google and type LinkedIn and now you're going to see linkedin.com. Here you can see two options, Google or join now. I am going to use join now new to LinkedIn option, but you can also use Google if you have that account. So I'm gonna click on join now to create a fresh account. And now what will happen, you're going to see a form. So let's go ahead and click on join now and create the uh, account. So here you're going to type new email and password and then click on agree and join make sure that you have access to that email now you're going to see first name and last name try to use the right full name so i'm going to go ahead and use that location does matter you need to put a right location and you can also uh, put like the titles of jobs that you're looking for i'm not a student but you if you are a student you can actually utilize that i'm a student option now, after this, uh, I'm going to click on not, I'm not a student because I am not in this category. So I'm going to go ahead and click on I'm not student. Now, what you're going to do, you can type uh, the, the titles like IT support, most recent company. You can even type that. So most recent company, you can actually type job skill share, by the way, if you are a member. You cannot represent yourself to be a like a working uh, employee of JSS, but you can also say that I am a member of this platform. So that actually is a neat way of uh, you know uh, impressing your HR. Now this is why I say that your email is important that you should use the right email because you're going to get a code, and now you have to use that code over. Here. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the code. Now you're going to get these three options. You are looking for a new job, so let's stick to the first option. I'm looking for the job in the job title. You should put IT support technician or IT support, anything uh, that makes sense to you. So let's go ahead and type IT support technician. After this, you can uh, look for a job locally and also overall, like, you know, the full country, because if it's a remote and hybrid job in that same company, sorry, same com country, then you can use the whole country and also specific area. So you get a targeted uh, positions uh, in your email or through the LinkedIn uh, when they send, uh, you know, new jobs to you. So try to use like a local area and also a full country because a full country may have a full remote job, such as United States remote job. And it doesn't matter where you live in the United States. So let's go ahead and click on next. You're going to see these two options and you're going to get alerts for these two options that you have added. You can add more if you like to. So now what we are going to do, we're going to click on next to move to the next section. So let's do that. You want to let the recruiters know because there are many recruiters that are looking for you right now. And if you do that, this option will let them know and they will be able to approach via a LinkedIn messages and which you're going to get notification in your email as well. So I think it's a good option to do that. So keep that on. Let's go ahead and Go to the next option. You may want to do this. This is the next option. I ignore this one. And then after that, you're going to see profiles, which I am going to skip for now, but you can go ahead and start connecting. And I'm going to show you at the end a really nice way on how you can get a lot of uh, connections for free in uh, for IT support immediately. You can get hundreds of uh, the connections, which is valid. And people look at that. You don't want to be like, you know, just coming with zero connections or two or three or four connections and applying for jobs. It's not going to look good, not professional. First thing we need to work on is your profile. If you click on this little icon and click on view profile, you're going to see this page. Now, on the right side, you see your pro pro profile language is English. 
you should choose whatever language you speak most likely it's going to be english and then here public profile and url link you can change this by clicking on this little icon and click on this little icon here and make it a little easier so people can uh you know maybe if you want to type it it's easy with not these big numbers so just full name and maybe add something that is easier for you to type as well now another thing i would like you to do is to open a new tab once you open a new tab go back and copy your profile link and paste it in the new tab now you see I have two profile links open on the left side and on the right side. In the right side, I'm going to go ahead and open the Job Skillshare uh, web uh, company name, or you can also search our company by going to search. Just like that, you see I just type Job Skillshare, it opens my company, and then I'm going to go ahead and open the company name. And now you see this is our company. The reason I'm making you open this because you can come over here and actually see the other employees or their profile, so you can copy a professional copy. So here, this is uh, uh, Kevin Jasmine, his profile looks good good and then there are other ones too so let's talk about this one so i'm going to go ahead and open this profile and then we use this as uh, a, for you to kind of have some sort of sample now he has a professional background where he has a name and information you may not want to add your information for privacy reason but he has a professional picture as you can see he is a clear title of what he's doing at work in your case you will be using our title which is information technology in turn add job skills share or trainee intern or member as we mentioned in the beginning so now you see he has other things like about if you click on about he has a very nice way of having an about you can also copy and kind of edit this about if you want to but do not copy exact same things because he may have different skill set than you you should really look into this this gives you an idea then copy and paste it and change the things you would like to add if you come down you see he has activity going on that shows that he's actively doing things on uh basically um uh, linkedin and then he has experience and you can see he added his experience from transcriptionist he added uh job skills share internship and look this the, the next uh, phase he got the job in it support which is really great and then you we have other things like skills and other things available in this as well all right, so take your time, take a good picture, and also research on how to create a background in LinkedIn online on YouTube and get this sorted out. Then come back to your title, which you have already done. Information technology intern can be only used by the individuals who are taking our coaching program because at this point, we will verify that you are a trainee intern with us. When somebody asks for a reference, we will talk to your company managers directors which have been happening for past two to three years since we have started this sort of in train, trainee internship we have been given that sort of references when our member land a job now if you are a premium light or any other member you can come over here and just type information technology member instead of intern at job skills share we cannot give you the reference but you are totally uh, free to use that member and attach yourself to our platform which is totally fine and we will allow that then on the left side you're going to see a lot of profile sections when you click on profile sections you will see multiple sections over here if you see a certificate you need to click on that if you see education you need to click on that and some of them we already clicked on it there's a recommended one you can see on the bottom add licenses and certification add courses and additionals are available as well whatever you have at this point you can add it over here and this is your area to enhance your profile the core is very important if you come back over here you can add education whichever education you have you should add it if you don't have education that's fine you can add uh, later on the licenses and certification from us if you have any other services any other skills you can add it over here even if you're home lab even if you have learned something online that's that is skills you should add it right here recommended you come back you, you are going to click on licenses and certification once you come to this section you're going to find our company by using the, the the name so sorry you have to type the name of the certificate so for example if we are going to give certificate for CompTIA security plus uh, course you need to type it the way it is and then you can come over here and type job skills share and you see our company 
profile will come up. You can click on it and then click on the certificate issuance date and anything that is available. If a uh, ID is available in the in the certificate, you may also want to add that by copy paste. So I'm going to copy this from my certificate and paste it right here. And if the link is uh, basically the link is very important because if you're a member and they want to verify that this certificate goes back to our domain, then it should be linked over here. So take the copy from the, the link from your My Profile section and then add that certificate. I'm going to quickly show it to you right now. Now, this is for every other platform. If you're using Udemy, you should get that certificate link and codes, whatever that is, anything, Coursera or our website. If you go to the My Courses, click on Achievement, your certificates will show up right here. So I have this certificate. If I click and open it, I am going to see a certificate just like this. I can download it if I want to with the PDF version, or I can copy the link and then paste it back into that section. So I copied the link and then I'm going to come over here. And if it's uh, any skills associated with this certificate, which let's say I learn a lot about security plus and the skills that I learned from that, I can add it. If I have anything done and I have a media like documentation or or let's say anything available, then I can add it and then I'll save it. And this will be added to my profile. You see, my profile just added the certificate. If I come down, I can see that I have under licenses and certification, I have that certification available with credentials. Just like that, I would like you to add courses as well, because even though it's same thing, but it enhances your resume. So if I come over here and go to the core, I can see that there's education section as well, it recommended add courses and also project just like that. So any other courses or any courses that you're doing with us, you should go ahead and then basically add it to enhance your resume. We already mentioned about the, the resume, the about section. So when you go to the about section, yeah, as I mentioned, you should copy paste and then learn more, do chat GPT or any other things, or maybe go online. What is the best way to represent? You could copy the things that we have shown in the other profile from other, uh, you know, employees or our staff members or our members that are joined our company name. Those are all they have done this process. So just look at it, whichever looks good. Keep it simple, keep it nice and clean because people don't have time to read a lot of text and unnecessary things in the about section. So finally, take time to complete some sections over here that your profile will look good. Picture, background, name, title, associated company, and then the rest of the certification courses. So that is kind of a normal profile people want to look at. But now the important thing is connections. How are you going to get connections? Because no one's going to trust you with zero or two or five connections over here. So my recommendation is very simple. This is a free way you can make hundreds of hundreds of connections now. Go to our website and let's go ahead and open a free community where you can connect with other people who have already uh, shared their links. And these are real people, real IT professionals or getting into IT. So they're real. You're not just randomly picking people. They may not even accept you. So they have added themselves because they want more connections just like you. So go to our website and scroll down. Scroll all the way down and click on Discord. This is our free community. Once you open the Discord, then let me show you the chat. Maybe you should come over here and do your introductions over here, just like these people. They're doing their introduction. Do you see somebody just joined today and did a lot of introduction? There are more. Just go through this. A lot of people are joining. There are free resources. We like to share updates over here too. So it's a community. I don't think there is any value for this. It's more than any other value that I can put on. This is very valuable stuff. So when you come to this community, click on LinkedIn Connect. And here you will see hundreds of hundreds of hundreds of people have shared their LinkedIn profile. This is another way you can check their profile just to see how they have added their profiles and enhancing it. So you have a very, very quick way to make connections and make that resume look more professional with more connections because lower the number, less like they're likely to click on it. So if you had more than 50, 60, 100 people, then that's okay. So make sure you use this very powerful feature that we have done for you for years, for, for many. It started in 2020. Until now, it has hundreds of hundreds of links over here. So make sure you come and utilize it. After this, take your uh, LinkedIn profile link, go back to your resume and add your link over there. So now you have a professional LinkedIn available to you. This is how you do a professional LinkedIn.